Well, good morning, everyone. It's another vlog, another week, another vlog. And so today I'm going to actually show you my whole day routine. And and I am a horrible, like, why am I a horrible vlogger? It's 10, 18, and I'm just now turning the video on because I've been busy this morning. Uh, but I can run down what I've done so far today. And next time I'll do better, I promise. Right now, I'll just tell you what I'm doing right now. So right now I am eating three scrambled eggs with two tablespoons of butter and um, a half a serving of hemp hearts. So, I'm, and I'm also drinking my Coke coffee, of course. I love these. Love them. So I love him parts because they give you a lot of nutrients. I'm I'm really being very intentional about nutrients and the nutrient density in my food. So I'm not just I'm of course I'm keeping everything keto, but I'm trying to get as many nutrients as I can in eating very nutrient dense foods. So I make sure that I get all the nutrients that I need in my day. And it's so hard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm right now I'm just kind of focused on getting half of the nutrients in my day. But so hemp hearts have a lot of iron. Um, now it's not heme iron. Heme iron, I'm pretty sure it's, of course it's a plant-based iron. Um, heme iron is more bioavailable into your body, which comes from meat. So that's why meat is so important because it has that heme iron and I am typically iron deficient so I am actually taking an iron supplement as well but I've been iron deficient for 10 years so and that's something that I really want to work on now um, but these have a lot of magnesium 45% um, of your daily value of magnesium if you did a whole serving I'm only doing a half serving because a whole serving that's a lot. That's a lot of hemp hearts in your, in my uh, eggs. So I just want to do a half a serving. Um, but they have a lot of, um, anyway, a lot of good vitamins. They're zero net carbs. They have a lot of good fats and they have protein. They're really a good, just addition to your foods. So anyway, I've been adding those to my eggs. Um, I love scrambled eggs with butter. I just whip them up with a tablespoon of water. I don't put any milk or anything in my scrambled eggs. It's something I learned from Chef Alex Garnaschelli on Instagram. So, it's, she's a, an iron chef, so she knows how to make some good eggs. So, I put a tablespoon of water in my three eggs. I scramble them up, and then I put a two tablespoons of butter and half a serving of hemp hearts, which is a, which is one and a half tablespoons of hemp hearts. And that's my breakfast. I was gonna have avocado too, but I didn't, I forgot it. So I don't have any avocado. I'll have that for lunch. So that's another a thing that I'm eating a lot of, which I have been for a while, eating a lot of salmon. I love salmon. It is full of nutrition. So that's what I'll be having for lunch. And I'll show you how I make that later. I need to run to the store and grab some strawberries and I think maybe some milk for my kids. Uh, but right now I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then, then I'm gonna go do that. So, see y'all later. Well, okay, before I go to the store and buy strawberries and milk, I'm going to walk the halls of my office, around my office, and get in about 6,000 steps. I like to get 13, 12 to 13,000 steps a day. That's something that I've worked up to. It's not, I definitely didn't start at 12 to 13 steps, 1,000 steps a day. Um, but now it is one of my favorite times to, of the day. I love to get in a walk. Um, so I'm going to walk for probably about an hour, 
with my headphones in. I like to listen to podcasts and, and really this, you know, it's like therapy for me. It's just feels so good. Um, and it gives me movement, which I think is so essential. And really there's, I mean, um, unless you're just physically incapable, I think that there's no reason why anyone couldn't get in, you know, at least 5,000 steps a day. Um, if you if you sit at a desk all day, you know, get up a couple of times a day for 15 minutes and go walk, walk around the halls, walk around the building. Uh, you don't have to go and kill yourself and walking up and down stairs. Just, in, you know, 15 minutes is all it takes. 15, 30 minutes is all it takes. You don't have to do a ton to see benefits. I think that's a common misconception in that, that all or nothing thinking. If I can't get 10,000 steps, then I'm not gonna get any steps. You can see the fallacy in that statement and how all or nothing thinking really messes with our brains and how we need to identify it and start to think otherwise. So I'm gonna go get in my steps and then, and then I'll go buy the strawberries. <laughs> Well, hello again. It is 3 p.m. I had my salmon for lunch. I also had, I went to the store, I got the strawberries, I got the milk, and I got a whole bunch of Lily's chocolate. So I ate a Lily's chocolate bar, and then I came home and um, my husband had already cooked the salmon he had cooked salmon for my son for lunch. And so I already had my salmon. So that was already cooked for me. And it was delicious. Um, and now I'm working on a blog post. It's a just a simple recipe for keto taco seasoning. Very, very simple recipe. And then, then what am I going to do? see I'll probably take my dog for a walk and then I have to take my son to karate so and then we'll come home and actually I need to make dinner in that time so I'll fit dinner in there somewhere um, might have to walk my dog after karate and make dinner before karate that's what I'm going to have to do. You just got to do what you got to do to fit it all into the day. Um, yeah. You just got to fit it all in and prioritize your, the most important things. So what's a priority for me is making sure I um, eat good nutritional, nutritious foods. And I get my exercise in and I walk my dog. And I mean, really everything is a priority. So what, what do I not prioritize? I don't watch TV. I don't just sit around and do nothing. Which there's nothing wrong with that if you have time for it. But if you have other things that are important to you, that other goals that are important to you, you know, you gotta make time for that stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't watch TV. I don't do any of that stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna finish up this blog post and then go ahead and make dinner and then take my son to karate and then walk my dog and then eat dinner and then um, get in my exercise. So that is how the rest of my day is gonna go. And so, see you, um, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm making for dinner in just a little bit.
Okay, here's what my family had for dinner. This is a double batch of Maria Emmerich's pizza pie. It's very, very good, but I just decided to have this for dinner. So here's my dinner. Some ground beef with some butter and strawberries. So yum, yum, yum. And here's a little puppy. And then we're gonna go on walkies after we eat, right? Oh, he's naughty. Being naughty. <laughs> We're doing a quick walk. Quick, quick walk. Because it is looking like it's going to rain. So, I don't know if I'm going to do this walk for very long. But we will see how much we can get in before we feel some sprinkles. Come on. Let's get home, it's gonna rain. Oh, you see this dog. He is going to doggy walk school at the end of the month. He's really not a bad dog, boy. No, he's really not too bad on the leash, but I, no, 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 put it down. Good boy. He's really not too bad on the leash, but he does pull, ah, 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 no, and tries to eat stuff, no. So like I was saying, he is going to doggy walk school at the end of the month for two weeks with a dog trainer because he needs and he likes to eat lumps of grass, pulls on the leash. He's not too terrible, but he does get pretty excited. He is 18 months old, so you know. He just needs some work and I, I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna stick to the professionals for that. Cause you know, when you need something done right, you hire a professional. And so that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, come on. We gotta get home and it's gonna rain. Don't eat the grass, I hear the thunder. And he is, we've gotta get the walk in because so he can use the bathroom because he is terrified of storms and wind, lots of wind. Oh, 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 that was scary. Oh no. Yeah, he heard that thunder and he's scared. So now he's like pulling me home. Rebel, we gotta get home. It's a thunder. Oh no. Okay, dinner has been eaten. Doggy has been walked, and now it's time to do a program on the tonal. I'm doing um, a four week weightlifting program, and I'm on the, the first week, fourth workout. So it's four workouts a week, and so far it's been really challenging, but really, really great. I love it. So let's go. From here, half your foot off the dime. Chest is lifted. Drop the hips in between. Well guys, that was a super amazing workout on the tonal for, it lasted about an hour and it was um, biceps and triceps and oh my God, it was, <laughs> it was killer. I'm gonna have very sore arms tomorrow. And then I did 20 minutes of yoga just to stretch out. It just felt so good. Stretch out my core because I did some core in addition to the biceps and the triceps. Um, so now it's time for bed. So I'm gonna end this vlog and I will see you guys on the vlog next time. Bye.